It's a beautiful day. Very low humidity here in Omaha. He's out here uh, helping the person I rent from uh, do the line at his mother's home. Of course, this is Ankh. This is a new installment for Monday, fresh Monday here in Omaha, Nebraska, for uh, what's known as typical American horror. I uh, actually designed this series after expose, uh, a hypocrite exposing a series on YouTube. Check it out because the narcissist war is on. It's on on the net and uh, there's actually a lot of information. You know, these narcissists are very tricky. They got what they call gaslighting and that's something that Sheila Sunday with Missy Howard did often. She just couldn't accept the blame for something. She made herself look like a total imbecile and absurd fruitcake uh, lunatic asylum rubber room straight jacket escapee uh, because when you catch her in some obvious bullshit like a little kid she would lie and just she couldn't own up to it she's like a person whose mind stopped computing at about seven or so mm -hmm. that's seven Sheila Sunday Howard that's uh, when your mind stopped working <laughs> so the uh, imbecile fruitcake and uh, lunatic, they're coming to take me away, ha <laughs> ha! Uh, Sheila Sunday Howard goes by a lot of other names. I confronted her on a 7202963231. I confronted her on knowing people named Hampton, Mir, and uh, Neblet, and, and she d denied it. Late lately, I found some blares. I don't know which blare she's stuffing up her uh, very used and often visited, but long unmarried and un committed uh, unpesticided and uncondomized uh, zipper uh, thing down there. I don't know how many of those guys. She, most of them, several of them she was stuffing when I was like away. I was incarcerated for several years, three years, Colorado, and I never received, I received a couple quick letters and then she just vanished. Uh, she calls that devotion. <laughs> Looney. Uh, she called damn near unzipping a guy and blow popping him in front of me like <laughs> right in front of me one day in a car. She called that normal. Look, the same blame she throws on me now. She threw on me then and looked at me like and she was looking all goofy. She's dazed, confused, uh, atrophy brain and uh, lost in some reverse reality Alice in Wonderland fantasy bimbo Dorfus land. She's definitely a half-wit, a dim-wit. I think she won the dim-wit of the uh, year award. These narcissists, they're always stuffing other guys because they need approval. That's why she would always flirt and stare at guys. She was just a, dependent on men. So don't tell, probably an army of guys stuffed while I was with her. And since I left, definitely, because she'd vanished. Now, her last little stupid trick was to bleed how much information I have on her or working for somebody, but definitely to bleed how much I have before I found these blares. She's got Sheila, Sheila Horde, and then it turns into Mirrors, and it turns into her, but it's unmistakably here because her kids are listed there. Tan's got a 402812 something number. Sheila's got a 469 text. Those might, that might be old, but there's no reason for either one of them. Sheila's got some 402 numbers, so it's evidently she was stuffing a couple of my buddies up here, probably squatting on the nearest uh, sizable entry ride. Something I would imagine around this long it would take for Sheila. Let's see. Can you see it there? I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty long. It'd have to be about seven times that wide because she's real experienced. Like the time she spit on her hand, put it on my thing, and slid it in her. She's real experienced. That's what like, like really experienced hoist type of slutty hooker type chicks do. So, anyway. Typical American whore. She can call herself a mother, decent. Her kids can fake and all of that. But they sit around and discuss, girl, that dude had a big giant pole and he ran me silly and I loved it. And I was shaking and quivering and flopping like a fish and squealing and moaning and writhing. And I wanted more. She would use ass for more. You know, when you start out with pops at the age of seven, like she did, and then go right to a 12-year-old service, the neighborhood all. That's where they got the million men march idea from, Sheila. Was that right? Million men in uh, St. Louis, in Sheila, at 12 years old. So, 
we're going to continue this typical American horror uh, series because Sheila called me. And then this is what the dim wit, uh, half wit, one and leg and one chicken leg, Korean cheap wig dependent, uh, lying, no address on, uh, no address, to, no return address, the package sending, lying, freak off, groupie, who a whole band once said they could get it. She was taking them spaghetti dinner. As soon as I went to deal, she popped over this dude named Bowles that I knew. I just slurped him up real good like a uh, popsicle in the summertime. <laughs> so, anyway, that's a Sunday for you. Sunday through next Sunday. That's what she does. How you doing? All right. Okay, so anyway, somebody's coming home and I want to get off of this. So stay tuned. There'll be another one Wednesday or Thursday. So her birthday is what? Uh, maybe today, yesterday, tomorrow. So we're going to do a, I think she's doing a reenactment of the Million Men Neighborhood Sheila-a-thon. When the guys savagely pulled and uh, spurred it and gave each other five and sweated and dripped all over her legs and body and wouldn't let her up except for her to go eat the Alpo steak uh, bits out of the dog dish they laid down for Sheila that day up in St. Louis. She was 12 years old. Of course, she's stupid and invited it like a dumb dimwit by getting in the car with strangers going against logic and sense as she always does because she's kind of like a paralyzed uh, mentality, idiotic, uh, toddler-minded placenta uh, escape from asylum, the zoo animal. She wasn't really like born like other people. Some lady named Georgiana or something found her in a zoo and rescued her from some apes that were, uh, she was four years old, and they were using her for mating. <laughs> what a dimwit. Jumps in the car with a bunch of dumb strangers and expects them to treat her like, give her lollipops. <laughs> it was good for her. There was about 67 of them, I think, and she was like held captive for <laughs> a couple of weeks. Okay, let me get off of this. That's what made her a, a paralyzed brain, a experiment research brain dimwit that just still invite strangers. Hey, let's get those guys to hook up your cables. Come on over, guys. Oh, can we rape you? Sure. Ah, what an idiot. I was, I'm embarrassed to have spent any time with her because uh, she should have been in my kennel, but I didn't have a kennel when I first got Sheila. <laughs> okay, peace out, y'all. Typical American horror. Sheila Sunday Howard. Remisi. Lee. Chong Lo. She's using these Chinese. She's using Spanish names. What a fucking lying low life.